am the owner of Mug and Bone Drive-In Restaurant in Speedway, Indiana, uh, right here about a mile from the track on 10th Street. With it being so close to race time, it's, it's been normal. I mean, normally, like next Friday, will be more like a Saturday because I believe that's carburation day at the track. So a lot of people will be cutting out of work early and heading out there. So it's more of busy all day. We considered fast food, but we cook everything to order. We don't pre-cook nothing. Um, so if they come in to get a tenderloin or a burger or a hot dog, we cook it right down there, french fries. Uh, same way, onion rings, we hand dip all those and cook them to order. Jay, the owner, is actually my stepdad. Um, he married my mom and we used to live in the back of the lot here growing up. Uh, I used to actually come over here and wash trays for a dollar um, whenever I was little. Anytime I was hungry, I'd walk over here and grab something to eat. I ate it like three square meals a day, like every single day for years. When I was younger, I was a very picky eater. It was like chicken tenders and french fries like all the time. Um, but now I really like our tenderloins, um, our chili cheese dogs I really like. I have had somebody come in though uh, with a snake around their neck. I think snakes are kind of cool. I just kind of keep my distance because its head is right here and it could just, you know. I've had someone come in and they had a bird on their shoulder and they had the window down and the bird wasn't flying. It liked to hang out and my mom actually served here before me and she had somebody come in with a pet alligator um, that was laying on their chest. I was looking for a vehicle to, re to retire. I was, my, uh, a really good friend of mine was an investment counselor and she had said find a vehicle that will get you enough income that you can make enough money if you want to retire early and not be planned on Social Security or whatever at, at an earlier age because you're not uh, eligible for it. And I uh, had my own electrical company. I was an electrical uh, contractor for 16 years. And I got introduced to Mr. May that owned this place and got to thinking about it and looked at a, a way that I could make, make enough money to retire. So I went home and thought about it and decided to buy the mugger button. <laughs>